What's up, y'all? It's your boy Simmons, the man sitting in the building. And I know y'all see that big ceiling behind me. I know y'all like, yo, where you coming from? Well, I'm sitting right now with Jay the trucker. Y'all already know. We What's on, going on, man? We sitting out here on our dark side, chilling in Missouri. Oh, yeah. Sitting in Joplin. Right now, we getting our tail light tanning on. Well, y'all know what? Y'all like, wait, what? Tail light tanning. Y'all don't know about that. Y'all don't know about that. Let me talk to y'all real quick. See, we send in these little, these little fancy seats you can get for your truck. You know what I mean? Oh, and they're comfortable. I mean, we send in styling. Now, we my, using our truck. Oh, they comfortable. Mm -hmm. You see, the eyes is low. The eyes is low. The eyes is low for a few reasons. For one, I had too much sweet tea. For the other reason, I had steak. <laughs> <laughs> I had steak. Yeah, I promised you steak and potatoes, didn't I? I left the potato alone. I got the fries. <laughs> <laughs> we sitting out here tail like tan. You don't even understand. You see the, you see the, the no, here you go. Tail like tan. Ooh. We just sitting here. We just sitting here letting the tail like tan on us. You know? Different colors. That's it. We had to bring you the video. We had to let y'all know how we doing it. Oh, there ain't yeah. right, no night refrigerated. We in the building. Oh, yeah. Tail like Tanner. That's the new slogan. <laughs> when you come to Joplin, you got to sit right here. You got to do your tail like Tanner, you know? You got to get that, that, that new beach highlights, you know? So when you walk around truck stop, they be like, oh, you just did that tail like Tanner. Yeah. Oh, we got to tell them that these trucks they got in here are be more, like they us to want to get our own trucks and pimp our own trucks out. We shop and tell what we going to get for our trucks. For sure. I mean, we definitely got to show the Kim work off. Oh, uh, let me turn that around. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. The yeah. purple. That, you see that purple on that, on that right here over the stair the axle? Mother Road, they call it. Huh. This seat is comfortable, man. I mean, this seat just, when you sit down in it, man, this seat just come here. You know, this seat just come here. You gotta get these in our trucks. You, you, I haven't even had to readjust myself. It's just snug you. It's just, it just, you sit in there and just snug you. It just hugs you. Oh, yeah. You ain't gotta worry about your back hurting at all. Oh, no. I can fall asleep in these See, seats. This place is big. Stickers behind me. But these seats right here, real comfortable. Got that leather. Got that leather. The leather's so soft. Soft like a baby skin. Soft like a baby skin. The leather's so soft. But real, we out here. We, we, we out here just doing it up. Oh, yeah. We out here. We park next to each other. Oh, yeah. I'm going to the cave. I'm going to cave, underground storage. Right. We should talk a little bit of knowledge about them caves. A lot of you be scared to go in them. It's big enough for you to get in there and back up the truck. I was just in there. They say uh, only experienced drivers should go in the cave. What do you think about that? <laughs> for real, that's what they be saying. Team you know? RG and Truckers United, they be, they be saying, well, I'm afraid to go in the caves, you know, it should be, we should be experienced we go in there. I'm like, I can't comment because I've never been, but since you've been, probably more than once, drop that knowledge. I'll tell you what, you can do anything that you want as long as you put your mind to it. The setup is the same thing like in the truck stop. I've been in there for the first time because I, I was kind of, I'll be real with you, I was like the caves, like. Ain't no way you we getting in there with 18 well or what? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? We went in there and it's big enough for you to do your 45 setup and back right into the dark door. So you can do it. Don't never let somebody put it put a put a limit on your grind and your abilities, because people will if you allow them. People will tell you, oh, it's time to go home. You know, you're going to be burnt out. Oh, it's time to go home. Yeah, like Cause you can't. Me. Yeah. No. You go home when you're ready to go. Oh, yeah. If you feel you're ready to go home, go home when you're ready. Right. Because other people is going to 
put their limits of what they feel they can do on somebody else. You notice the first video we've done together, and everybody was like, yo, when you going to do the training videos? Man, we, we should have done them, though. She I'm, wasn't I'm, ready for. She ain't want to do no training video. No, she wasn't I'm a little camera. still camera shy, but I'm getting. I'm getting better at it. You know, I got my own YouTube channel now, and everybody always want me That's to do it. a channel. That's it. There you go. Truck and we're in the building. Team RG, we in the building. Oh yeah. We ride around. We get in there. We hustle hard. We pay for chase. Let's talk about my situation today. How would would you tell you? Oh, okay. I'm gonna let her tell her story today. What happened? All right, so I came from I came from the shipper to pick up the load. Thirty minutes late, I thought it was supposed to be at five o'clock. Ended up being at three o'clock. I'm still trying to learn military time. Well, I get there and they get done with me. I come here to scale out the load. I figure I'm gonna find a place to park. I found these open spaces that have trucks in between certain spots. I'm thinking, well, I'm gonna use him as a guide to try to back to try to practice my 45. I get I get you know I get in there and it's angled park. I'm not used to angled park and. I pull up maybe three or four times just to straighten it up to get in that angle. And as soon as I get parked, the guy comes up to my truck. He's like, t you know, cursing at me with r saying, being rude, saying, you know, I can't drive, telling me that, you wow. know, why are you going to park here when you got all these other parking spaces and saying I'm going to turn your reefer off. And then, you know, the only thing I had to say was the last time I checked, we could park anywhere. We don't have no night cannot park here or <laughs> rookies cannot park here you know or, what i mean like or, i never got added to him whatsoever you know i try to keep a cool comic collect he got back in his truck i waited about five ten minutes see what he's gonna do <laughs> <laughs> and he moves 11 spots down and never gets out his driver's seat like and and you know lo and behold he didn't come up to you and say nothing rude to you i'd be like you can't back you know just like at first, I let it get to me, but I'm like, you know what, whatever, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna watch that hater rate right uh, off. Like, uh, y'all haters can't stop my grind or take away my shine. Like, you know what, y'all forget where you came from. We all had struggles back in. We all were the them. same spot. Tell like, them. I came from Roadmasters, and I, I tell you what, I could not do a 45, a 90, or anything to save my life. I got in trouble with sin. I was scared to even back a truck. I'm like, man, you got a brand new pro star. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and then I get on my own and it kicks me in the butt. But every time I come to a truck stop or, I, you know, I, I just force myself. If there's right. a pull through, I don't pull through unless I'm tired. No, that I used to be her favorite old trainer. Like, pull through. you ain't going to be able to pull through through the, at a ship no. unless you go, you're going to drive no. through the building. And then but, I'm like, no. <laughs> but, you know, like, I, you know. It may take you a couple of pull-ups, but I've learned you're not always going to get in the hole perfectly. And, you know, back in seems to be the I most. even have days where I just can't back. I'll when I'm like, really tired or frustrated, oh, it screws everything day. up. Yeah. Like, you be trying so hard, and you and you just, it makes it extra harder on mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. Especially when you run your clock all the way down to less than an hour. Like that time when I was at the truck stop, Little America and, Sh and Shiny Wyoming. Oh, my Lord. Yep. Tandem slid all the way up one spot and you had to pull up and then back up to do a straight and every time i tried to pull through my butt would try to smack his trailer and i, I was freaking out calling sim like yo what do i do what do i do fix myself yeah i'm like you know what the next time i'm i'm gonna avoid small parking real real late at night because yep. i could have went to the flying j and made my own parking but I just want to stop a little America thinking they have free Wi-Fi. I get there, they don't even got free Wi-Fi. I'm like, oh, you kidding me? Mm -hmm. This came from when they had free Wi-Fi. So, you know, I mean, like, everybody didn't think I'd make it this far. But, you know what, I'm proving them wrong every day. I have not, I've only denied That's two right. loads in two months of being solo. That's right. You know, I got a little frustrated with California with them tight, tight places. But That's I'm right. not letting it stop me. I've been out here almost nine weeks now. I ain't even seen home. Whatsoever. What day? What day you was out here? What day you came out? July. What? I got my truck. Uh, was the first of August. Went home. I mean, first of July. Went home. Came back on July eighth. So I've been out here since July eighth. Almost nine weeks. And everybody's like, "You need to go home. You're burned out." I'm like, "You know what? My money ain't right. I ain't going home. I might be burnt out. I might be tired, but I ain't going home until my money's right." Like, I'm just now getting the no. thousand. I, now, now, with you saying that you might be burnt out, now I just heard somebody saying something behind the camera, like at home, like, okay, she burnt out, so that's a cause for an accident. Now, sleeping time, your, your sleeping arrangements, like, 
when you say burnt out, you know, some people's gonna think about the driving tire. Oh, mm -mm. male break it down for you, like. Right. There's right. certain people, you know, it's a different to being burnt out is different to some people. Like to me, burnt out for me is okay. Yeah, I'm driving. I might, I might be, I might be tired. But if I get that tired, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull off. But I notice is like when you get the more burnout you get, if you ain't used to it, like I'm used to being two months out. No. But if you start having trouble sleeping at night, your appetite starts going away. Mm -hmm. You know, you be hungry, but you don't want to, you don't want to eat. Like you start getting stressed out, frustrated, and upset easily about everything. Then, you know, what I do is I request a reset, or I tell them to take the load off, and exactly. then get my mind time the process, and then I go back out because if I'm not feeling well rested, and my mind's not right, I'm not gonna run. But if I'm, my mind's set and ready and I have the goal to do at least 600 miles, I do it. But, you know, like, I'm real stubborn, I'm real hard-headed. But one thing I always do is I'm a, real, I'm a real safe driver. Like, if I feel like anything bad's about to happen, I'll pop my brakes and ask for help before I would do something that would cause myself to wreck or, you know, cause damage to somebody else. But, you know, like... Sometimes you, you might be feel burnt out, but you gotta be able to push through that barrier and, and mm -hmm. get your tolerance level up higher. Exactly. And that's what I'm trying to do. I know I can stay here two months, but I wanna see, can I do three months? Like, I just, I, you know, you saying you ain't going home to November, that inspires me, okay, the next time I come out, let me try to stay out a little bit more than eight weeks. But you just can't just throw yourself into nope. it and expect you're gonna do it. Like, you have to Bill take Jordan. baby steps. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I did three months first. Now I'm up to, what, May, so June, July, August, September, October, November. Yeah. And it's nothing to me. Right. It's nothing to me. A lot of people are telling me back at home, you know, friends and family, like, two months out is too long. But my theory is, and I've had a lot of people argue me about this, some people agree, some people disagree. They say you make the same money no matter how much you stay, stay out. A one driver from Transport America tells me, okay, I stay out 14 days, I go home seven. Or I go out two weeks, I go home seven. Or, you know, I make as much staying out two weeks than going home for a week than I do if I don't stay out two months. Right. But for me, the way my mind thinks, okay, I'm going to get all my bills caught up and then go home with some money, not go home completely broke. And to me, if you get one day off for each week you're out, what is the point in going home and getting less than a week off? After you've been out here for so long, I would rather stay out so I can get a week off than go home for less than that because I went home for four days when I first got my truck, and all I did was spend time with my truck. It went by really quick. <laughs> and, I, and I talked to the owner-operator, and they told me it don't work that way. Like, some of these companies out here, you know, when you're an owner-op, like that company, was it John Christ Christians I was telling yeah. you about? They told me there was, like, they, you know, a lot of comp big companies will tell you probably about five to six days in, they're ready for you to come back out and try to force you to come back before your day to come back out is even over with. But these owner-operator lease, co lease companies, they can go out for like two months and take two weeks off. Yeah. But if we stay out for longer than seven days, they want the truck back. Yep. Yeah. Because you know. you're still a company driver. Yeah. They, they are, they more on a... You know, they're on contract. They're independent contractors. Yeah. So they got their own authority. But I just don't see the point in, you know, staying out two weeks and then going home because, you know, I just don't see how you can make any money or miles that way. Right. Like, unless, I mean, everybody's got their own grind. Everybody's got their own bills and, you know, their own situations. But for me, like, I ain't never going to get the house I want, get the debt cleared off or none of that unless I stay going, going home all the time. Because then you go home and you get held back a week. And, and then, then, look, you home, you losing money. Yep. You're not you really making no. no money. The wheels ain't turning. Yep. And, all right, much respect to everybody who go home because they got a family. Yep. That's understandable. Yes. But if you ain't got no family, you only coming out here running two weeks, three weeks, thinking you really going to make some bread? No. Nah. No. Nah. Nah. I can understand people that have to go home and have families and kids and stuff. But to us that don't have anything and come from nothing, you know, you're never going to get anywhere. Like the longer, the, the more you run, and the, these companies will see how hard you're on the work, they'll give you the miles. Yeah, throw the load on you. Like when I first came in solo, I was getting these two, four, six, eights. I'm like, what is this? 
Like I'm till you prove yourself. Till you prove yourself, and then I start getting them thousands, fifteens, yep. two thousands, and your dispatcher will be like me. He's like, "Well, man, you're running really hard. I'm gonna say I'm gonna have to start t throwing tighter loads on you, tighter appointment times." And that's when you really, really, really get, be your skills get yeah, put to the yeah. Test. Like today, like pick up at three o'clock, run it in by twelve thirty in the, in the morning. I'm, but then you get there, and then you don't even have the hours. Yep. You know. So you just so. gotta shut down. But, yeah. hey, we ain't going to make this video too long. It's no. already 15 minutes. Yeah. But check out Jay the Trucker, her page. We're going we're gonna to spin off on her this video on her page. This, you know. Right. And that's how we're going to do it. We're going to do part two on her page. This right. is part one. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but part two will be on her page. And I'll put the link in the description box below. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you rate and thumbs up the video. Leave your positive comments. If you leave negative comments, I'm snatch it out. Whatever. <laughs> Let them haters hate. All right. You already know. Come join Team RG. We out here. Peace out, your boy Sinister. And Jay the Trucker. Sitting in Joplin. Getting our tail like tanning on. Like oh, this. Yeah. Tail like tanning. Tail like tanning. Tail like tanning. Tail like tanning. Oh, yeah. yeah. When y'all.